Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And I want to play a game with you. I want you to take out a piece of paper and I want you to answer the next eight or nine questions. You and I are going to play a guessing game for August of 2022. Now that the CDC eviction moratorium is behind us, we can take a breath that contract law means something. I know we're going to go through 30, 45, 60 days of just a noisy and messy market. So what I want to do is actually look ahead. I've created eight questions, and we're just going to guess together. So again, take out a piece of paper. I'm going to pull up a PowerPoint, and we are going to go through eight questions together. The reason I want to do this with you now is your thoughts, your opinion, your potential bias on these eight questions might help you understand what you're looking at, might help you understand parts of the market that you might be missing. So again, if you haven't got a piece of paper handy, go ahead and head and hit the pause button right now, because what I'm about to do is bring up a PowerPoint and we are going to go through the questions together. So let me know. And if you really wanna have some fun, watch the video and then leave your comments below on your answers. That would be a lot of fun. So. Let me share my screen. Again, what I'm going to do here is we're going to go through these eight questions so that you could answer them. And you know what? What I'll do in, you know, probably tomorrow or the next day is I will come in and give my answers. I don't want my answers to bias your answers. So again, we're just going to have some fun. We're going to answer these eight questions together. Hopefully you have a piece of paper. And again, August 2022, so one year from today. So again, I'm doing this because your thoughts about the future could bias what you do today. It's about doing the work, understanding daily disciplines. But if you don't understand what you're thinking of the future, uh, it could have an in impact on what you're doing today. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Number one, number one question. We have an inventory problem. I've been talking about a housing slowdown. I've been talking about inventory building. So as of today, the last report I saw had us at 1.32 million available properties for sale. So you have three answers. Three answers. You're going to write down, you know, question one, answer here. By 12 months from today, are we going to have under 2 million available homes? Are we going to have 2 to 3 million available homes? Or will we have over 3 million available homes. So folks, again, I've shared with you many times on this channel, a balanced market is right around 3 to 3.2 million homes available. It's where you get days on market over 40. It is you know, something we haven't seen in a long time. So what do you think? We have 1.32 million homes today. What are we going to have in 12 months? Under 2 million, 2 million to 3 million, or over 3 million. That is question number one. Question number two, what are 30-year fixed rate mortgages going to be? And the easiest one to track, the easiest one you can Google is 30-year fixed rate owner-occupied loans. As of this morning, based on my quick search, the answer today is 3.03%. So 12 months from now, is the 30-year mortgage going to be under 4%? Will it be 4 to 5%? Or will it be over 5%? Again, one of the things that you know when you watch my channel is it is about payment and one of those important variables about that is interest rates. So again, interest rates roughly today are 3%. Will they stay there and thus be under 4% into next year? Will they be 4 to 5% or over 5%? Let me know. That is question number two. All right. Another thing that we have in the works, or at least it feels like it is in the work, is a first time home buyer program. It could be a tax credit, it could be down payment assistance. It is something new created by this administration. So, will we have a new program? One answer is no, right? Maybe we won't. Yes, we will, but it will be capped at $15,000. Or yes, we will, and it will be over 
$15,000. I wanted to keep each question in this series at three answers. So again, will we have a first time home buyer, a new home buyer program created? Yes or no? If the answer is no, you're done. If the answer is yes, will it be capped at 15 grand or Yes, it is over $15,000. That is question number three. And the reason this is important is because if we do have a program, it is going to increase demand. That is important to think about. Higher taxes on capital gains. Without question, we have taxes going up. I believe taxes are going to go up for the middle class. One of the things that will most certainly go up is capital gains, uh, in my opinion. But again, will capital gains go up? One of the answers could be no. Uh, you know, that's an option. I don't know how they get through the budget reconciliation process without it, but maybe an answer is no. Yes, it's going to go up, but it won't be as bad as you expect. Maybe it will just go up to 30% instead of 20%. Or yes, it will go up third to over 30% ordinary income, potentially up to 53 percent for folks in California. It is hard to say. And again, this is important because if you've been following my channel, higher taxes could really slow down transactions. For example, if you were to charge me 53% capital gains, I simply would not sell. Uh, and again, lots of people would be in that position. So that is question number four. Rent increases. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know rent increases have been fast and furious. Uh, I believe they will be going up into the future, but here's your time. Here's your chance to think about it. What will the, will rent increases continue and be higher August of next year? One answer is no, maybe they won't. Maybe they will fall down. Maybe. Yes, they will be up, but they will be up less than 10% from today. Or you know what? No, rents are going to go screaming higher and they will be up again over 10%. And they've been up over 10% this year. So again, rent increases are important. It is a part of your calculation as an investor. It is a big impact on the NOI if you can get rent increases. So again, uh, rent increases, no, yes, but under 10% or yes, over 10%. PCE inflation reading, is it going to continue to be over 2% uh, today? We got a report that it hit 4.2% when you calculate food and energy. Wow, 4.2%. It is up 3.6% two months in a row when you strip out food and energy. So 12 months from now, will PCE, the Fed's favorite gauge on inflation, continue to be over 2%? One answer is no which means, of course, under 2%. Yes, it will be up over 2%, but under 3%. That is question two, or answer two. Or yes, Michael, it will continue to be a problem, and we will now be 14 months in a row of over 3%. Again, this is important because, again, if you can borrow money at three and inflation's at four, it's actually negative interest rates. So again, this is an important calculation or important thing to think about. The stock market is screaming. The S&P 500, I just checked a minute ago, was 4505. I just wrote down 4500 for easy math. Uh, what do you think? Will the S&P 500 in a year be under 4500? Will it be over 4500? And kind of a third question, will it have moved 25% either way, right? Will there be a big spike or a big crash? I'm just wondering if over the next 12 months you see a big swing. But again, do you think it will be over or under 4,500? And then do you think it moved 25% either way in the last 12 months? And the final question, we are a real estate channel. What do you think about median home price? Median home price at the last reading for July, just a few days ago was $369,000. That is existing home sales across the country's median home price. 12 months from now, will median home price be under $369,000? Will it be between $369,000 and $400,000? Or will it be over $400,000? Again, this is median home price uh, published monthly. What do you think in 12 months? And I believe that is the last question. It certainly is. So again, folks, let me know what you think. You can hopefully uh, answer the questions. I'd love to see comments below. 
Uh, I will give you my comments. I will probably give you my comments tomorrow on the on the uh, live stream at eight o'clock. Actually, I will take that down as a note. Take action items here in real time. So AI uh, AI stands for action items. Questions about August twenty twenty two. So I will give my answers at the start of tomorrow's eight a.m. live stream where I answer questions. Let me know what you think. Bye.